What illegal things are so common, they seem illegal. It is illegal to honk a car horn anywhere in New York City, for non-emergency situations. The penalty is a $350 fine. Speeding, I was parent taught for driving, and my parents told me, it's okay to be 5 over but not 10 over. Lemonade stands. In a lot of states, it requires a permit to have one. Driving with dark tinted glass. You see it so much, that so many people don't realize, that a lot of states have a legal limitation to how dark you can tint them. Cops don't really enforce it, but they can use it as a reason, to pull you over if they wanted to. Hanging things from the rear view mirror. In the UK, it's illegal to be drunk in a pub. Section 12 of the 1870 to Licensing Act stipulates that every person found drunk on any licensed premises shall be liable to a penalty. Got pulled over for my fuzzy dice once on 4 slash 20. Sure the cop just wanted to sniff my car since he commented on my air freshener which was clipped on a vent and made me get out and stand by his cop car so he could smell me, I'm pretty sure. Jokes on him, he found the only human in AZ who doesn't smoke pot. I found out about 20 years ago that it doesn't make me high and lost all interest in it after that. Technically it's obstructing your view, but nobody will pull you over for it unless they have ulterior motives. Edit to all y'all, I tried real hard to be a stoner in high school, yes I did inhale, yes I know how to smoke, I was in fact a smoker for most of my early 20s, yes I've tried edibles, none of it ever got me high, yes I know what being high is like, no I'm not going to to try cocaine, meth, or heroin, no I don't think I'm special, I just think I'm saving cash, by being the only non-stoner in Arizona, maybe the new stuff would get me super stoned. I'll try it, when I damn well feel like it. Sending somebody pictures of your private parts without their consent. I think a lot of people don't know it's illegal, but you could actually report it to the police. Edit, at least here in Germany, where I live. Well, in my town the underage usage of marijuana isn't exactly frowned upon anymore. Me and my group often just chill at the park and smoke. The cop fat sack weighs down there issued us a very stern warning. You can smoke but none of you are driving, until you check with me, and as long as we check in, and pass a coherence test we are good to go. I DKY it's soul lax, but I'm not complaining. Not wearing a helmet, while riding your bike. At least in Croatia. It is illegal to die in the houses of parliament. Can just imagine an MP, dying of a heart attack being dragged out by their legs. Telling employees not to discuss their pay. Holding a salmon suspiciously. US Brits have the best laws. It's extremely enforced in Europe, and it actually applies to USA road law. On a multi-lane road, the rightmost lane is for cruising, and the left lanes are for passing only. It's not enforced here, because literally everyone breaks this law, and cops can't do about it. That's what I understand about it, anyway. In the state of Victoria in Australia, it was illegal, until recently I believe, to change your own light bulb, unless you're an electrician. It was one of those old laws, that made sense at the time, but seems ridiculous now. Edit, okay, I guess it is still illegal. I must have googled an unreliable source. Escort services advertise in the phone book. Hard to imagine, drug dealers doing the same thing for very long. Adultery in 20 plus states in America. There's an old blue law in MA, the state I grew up in, that if you ride a horse to school, the school is obligated to stable it for you. During my freshman year of high school, a senior decided to do exactly that. He lived on a horse farm, and was an experienced horseback rider, so he showed up one day on a horse, with a copy of the old law in his pocket. The horse was tied up in the athletic field all day, and all gym classes were held inside. To this day, it's the best senior prank I've ever heard of, let alone seen myself. Here in California, when you make a right turn, you have to turn your own lane closest to you. You cannot swing out into the middle or left lane. Also you cannot change lanes in an intersection. Edit, you can change lanes in an intersection in California. My apologies. It's pretty common around, where I live for people, to go with the flow of traffic, even if everyone is speeding. 
I've driven in some areas, where pretty much everyone around me was going 75 to 80. People will even argue, that cops will not pull you over because it is safer, if everyone is just going with the flow. That is not true. They can, and will still pull people over. I didn't knew weed was illegal, until I was 12, because everyone in my area, had some randomly growing in their garden, and I just thought nothing of it. Watching porn before you're 18. Every time I see a person throw a lit cigarette out the window, and it sparks on the road. I only recently found out that's not actually legal, at least near me, yet I have seen that happen so many times. Shoplifting. Working retail taught me that everybody everywhere does it. Whether it's a Slim Jim or a TV people will take it. It's gotten so bad, that I see somebody, and immediately think what are you going to take today? Sweet old deaf couple. Thieves. Weird dude that stops by every day, just to talk to random employees. Thief. Young couple with newborn sleeping peacefully? The baby is the ringleader, of the whole operation. Miners getting naked on the internet. About 10 years ago, especially the biggest players such as Yahoo buying Tumblr, as direct competition to Facebook targeting the platform to young people allowing pornography making it the best porn site in the world for a few years, while having TOS stating 14 is the age you need to be, to use the site. Many other platforms operating openly for years having minors post sexual content or stream sexual content such as webcam streaming site Stick'em that was active from 2005 to 2013. Big social platforms promoting sexual content from minors making money from it for years with no restrictions or attempts to monitor the content somehow ignored by government and media. In Las Vegas, cashing out a slot machine that had 35 cents worth of credits on it. I walked by it, saw it, hit the cash out button, and it printed a 35 cent voucher. I was arrested a minute later by undercover cops, and charged with a class B felony for defrauding a gaming establishment, cause the 35 cents wasn't mine. In Nevada a class B felony is second only to a class A felony. Class A felonies include murder. Turns out they were at the casino, undercover to catch people stealing purses, and, and saw me do that, and decided they were gonna try to ruin my life. The DA dropped the charges, the next day, and I was released from jail. And that was the end of it. I got three for you, that make me laugh or cringe. 1. Sharing your password. Tried to save a friend or family member a few bucks, by letting them use your Netflix account? Well you can't. It's actually considered a federal crime, to share your passwords for subscription services. 2. Singing the happy birthday song. Curveball. The song you were sung annually, since birth is actually copyrighted, and any public performance of it is illegal. 3. Using a fake name online. According to the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, using a fake name anywhere online is illegal. So, just about everyone here is breaking the law right now. I went to do my driving test once, and watched this kid who went before me take the shortest test ever. Pulled up to the stop sign, comes to a slow and then does. Never made a complete stop. I see them go around the block, and back into the parking lot. Needless to say, the kid failed. Tester or instructor didn't bother testing the kid on anything else, since he failed the most basic or important thing. Stop sign means stop. Crossing the border. Edit, seems I needed to be more specific. Crossing the US border illegally, and by legal I mean crossing by any means, that is in no way a legal form of crossing borders. In the US, it's illegal to serve alcohol to someone who is visibly intoxicated. But most bartenders and owners have a, they are adults they can handle themselves attitude. That's all fine and good until one of those drunks, gets into a wreck or stumbles into traffic, or falls and splits their head open then you're liable, and you can kiss your liquor license goodbye. Florida amended the helmet law in 2000, where you don't have to wear a helmet, if you can prove you are covered by a $10,000 medical insurance policy. Helmet usage dropped by like half, number of riders injured under 21 have tripled yearly, and hospitalizations from motorcycle, related accidents increased by 48%. Its estimates health insurance premiums in the state, have increased 3%, because of the relaxation of the law. Edit, Mr. Word. I added it, before anyone lost their marbles. My uncle's wife's father, 
technically no relation to me, but he was a lovely man and we called him grandpa, lived in a dodgy area, and grew a lot of plants, and had a huge vegetable garden out back. One day when we were over, he showed us his tomato plant out the front of his house, which had failed to produce. We informed him, that it was in fact, a marijuana plant. He genuinely had no idea, that he had marijuana growing out the front of his house, in full view of the road, which police frequently drove past. He was growing, we didn't didn't know. We had a good old chuckle about that for ages, unfortunately he passed away a couple years ago, but he was an amazing man.